guys, it is game time, y'all. We are just getting out to our very first spot. It is a scorcher today, so hot out here, but hopefully that means the water will be heating up and these fishies will be biting, y'all. Gonna... Yeah, yeah. Okay. Get him! With a little Berkeley gulp. Beautiful redfish. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is nuts. Just one fish after another. This is you crazy. Guys... Beautiful, beautiful redfish. Redfish mission going on. This is uh, a little pound. Yes. We about to get up in it, y'all. We've got our popping corks tied on. I can't even think. I'm so excited to get out here. About to dial in our first spot, babe. Give these people the lowdown. What's the program for us on we, the dolphin dancer today? We are using popping corks, Berkeley gulp, new penny shrimp with a chartreuse tail. Can't go wrong. Just like that. It has been way too long since I've gotten out on the water. But like Jeff said, here's the program. We've got all of our Berkeley gulps right here that we're about to hopefully put a beating on these redfish with. And clearly Jeff was feeling this color because all of our patterns are in this color. And there's, babe, there's tons of bait busting behind the boat. So we've got this jerk shad. These are freaking awesome. If you guys are fishing jetties, bouncing on the bottom. And then we've got these bad boys. And these are probably my faves, little shrimp action especially this time of year. That's what we've got on the deck, little program for you guys. All right, people, so this is what we're using today. Let's check this out. So we got a Billy Bay popping cork and the plastic beads go on top, brass beads go on the bottom and that just keeps your cork straight up and down in the water. Uh, so I just remember the heavy beads go to your hook line and the light plastic beads go to where your main line to your rods to your rod end of the rig super easy and then i'm just using 15 pound fluorocarbon you can also use monofilament leader and today i'm only using this is probably about two feet of leader line i've got a red quarter ounce uh, jig head and the bait we're using is we are using these jerk shads these uh berkeley gulp jerk shads and shrimp but honestly i'm gonna tell you all what these redfish you can find them on these flats then we could probably be throwing just a number of different things yeah so christy and i we really like popping corks especially in this really shallow um these like shallow flats because it just helps like when you have all these like oyster beds and grass that you want to keep your bait suspended above i mean we're only fishing in probably like two feet of water so that is it this is the rig right here and just kind of like a normal bass rod is what we're using and i'm using the trolling motor if i had a power pole that would be awesome because we could just power pull down because there's a school of reds right here and you guys when we came into this flat <clears throat> we were literally like right here and i was saying hey when we come into a flat we like to keep our heads on a swivel and everything so we actually saw um just a bunch of like blow-ups like actually right here where we're uh <clears throat> catching all these redfish but if i had to say these reds are stacked here there's a big old crane or some sort of bird that's feeding on some little like finger mullet or just whatever comes by there's like this little creek mouth in here we've got like a crane uh just a lot of signs of life there's oyster beds right below us oh. christy was just on uh the sun has gone behind the clouds so we were sight casting but now it's kind of cloudy but it's actually not a bad thing when it does get cloudy because sometimes when the sun's out uh these fish can get really skittish but you guys that is what we're doing today using the trolling motor because we're just trying to cover ground and sometimes the school of reds like will move just a little bit there was a blow up right there to me this is like an ideal place to find redfish we've got this creek mouth oyster flat right here um and these reds seems like that they're just kind of waiting for bait fish to come out of this creek mouth and they're just literally like working all this bait fish right here so christy just got bit again so anyways y'all that is what we're doing oh yeah trolling motor um if you're wade fishing or if you're kayak fishing then that's what i like to do is just be really stealthy but at the same time um you know we've had about five casts haven't caught anything which sounds really bad but we've just been having so much action um that this school of reds might have just ever so slightly moved just a little bit and here comes the sun maybe we'll even see them but yeah so i like to use the trolling motor just to be really stealthy and to just stay up with the school of reds 
Um, and also just again, like can't say it enough. Do not, do not spook this school. Try everything you can do to not spook this school of reds. Dang, that's a good one. Here, we can land them in the grass. Well, oh, I'm on. I'm on. We're doubled. We are doubled up. Christie's is way bigger. Mine's just a little one. Oh, that's a trout. Really? Yeah, nice trout. He just popped off. Oh, yeah. Okay. There's one. Look at that. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is nuts. Oh, he broke off. You good? Yeah. There he is. Oh my gosh. Okay. This is insane. Here, get the get the anchor. Get the anchor. Y'all, this is nuts. These are some quality redfish. Whew. He ain't even done yet. Oh, he's a wily one. Yeah, he's slot. Come here. Oh my gosh. You guys, this is absolute blast. Oh yeah, got a redfish in the boat and Jeff is on the first fish of the day. Solid, solid red right there, Jeff. That is. Nice slot size redfish, you guys. Check it out on the Berkeley Gold, on the Berkeley Gold. shrimp. And yep. a little popping cork. There we go. That's right. Yeah, so you guys, these flats this time of year, everywhere, all across the land from Virginia all the way down the coast are just teeming with bait. So there it is, y'all. Beautiful, beautiful redfish. Right That's here. so fun. Right at slot size. And you guys, we're going to let this guy go. Definitely about 18, 19 inches. And uh, today, y'all, it's all about that. Wait, wait, no, no, no. Watch Catch their, and release. Picture, babe. The men, they never want their pictures taken with their fish. What's up with that? Come on. Oh, there we go. Got him. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Get him. Y'all, sight casting out here on these flats is so sick. So sick. Dang, that's a good one. Doubled. <laughs> Doubled up, guys. Yeah. Who the heck is going to net my fish? Man, these redfish are thick in here. I think we found them. Y'all, we are fishing this high and outgoing tide. All right. Really? Yeah, nice trout. Sick. Oh, yeah. Y'all, okay. that is what it's all about. And Christy. So sick. Y'all, we've been working these grass flats at this high and outgoing tide, totally producing with a little Berkeley gulp and a beautiful redfish on the popping cork one of our all-time favorite ways of catching fish if you guys are fishing over oyster beds and stuff keep it up off there and catch yourself a big old red right we, we need backyard. to catch more fish <laughs> this girl's going back you're blowing up good Whew. all right people you're good that's what it's all about so we've got this really nice oyster flat right here to the right and we've got this awesome high and outgoing tide and right now we're just kind of following a school of finger mullet and seeing where these red fishies are hanging out at y'all there are blow-ups left and right out there Nice. Ooh, got him. <laughs> okay. On a little Berkeley gulp. Swimming mullet is producing this orange tiger. It's my favorite color to catch these reds on. Nice little pup. We've got a boat flipping. Classic Jeff for God or Ned. What? Are you on? Ooh. Hello. Another solid red right over this oyster bed, right against the grass flat, right where they're supposed to be on this outgoing tide. A little catch and release today. Boom. There we go. Another one. Oh my gosh. This is crazy. How big is ya? These redfish are so active. Oh my gosh. 
How big are you, Mr. Redfish? This is crazy. Oh my gosh. There are so yeah, many redfish. redfish. Going down. Popping cork action. Dolly keeper out here today, guys. That's actually a really good one. Here we go. <laughs> just one fish after another. This is you crazy. guys. These reds are just absolutely stacked. Yeah, they are thick in On this here. flat. All right, here. I'm going to try and flip them right here. All right, y'all. Here we go. <laughs> just one fish after another. This is you guys. crazy. These reds are just absolutely stacked. Yeah, they are thick in on this here. Alright, here, I'm gonna try and flip them right. Yeah. No net, of course. These are solid fish. We've only lost two fish today. Because of the lack of Oh, oh babe! Alright, so when I go target redfish, I always tie the polymer knot. Always, always. And we have plenty of tutorials how to tie knots. And there's like a million bajillion on the old YouTube. But the polymer knot is definitely what I use when I'm out trying to catch these redfish. I just find the other knots not as uh, not as strong. All right, so we're going to switch it up. All right, so next to a shrimp, the jerk shad, I would say, is probably one of my favorite. I really like these for flounder, actually. Just love the action of the jerk shed for sure. Fish. There we go. Good one. These reds are just stacked. Going in the grass. All right, let's see if I can land this guy without the net. Here we go. All right, I'm going bare grills on this guy. What is Steph doing You're on. Oh, I am? Oh, I'm on, I'm on. Hello. Oh my gosh, y'all see this? I'm on. Okay. That was crazy. Guys, got a beautiful redfish on. Tracking with him. Jeff is here with his fish right there. He's catching my fish. All right, peeps, check it out. Got one fish in the boat. This is Jeff's. That's mine right there that he's got. He's losing a sandal or two. The boat's slowly drifting away, but we've got our fish. Dang, that's a nice, that's a nice red. Yeah, super nice. Look at that. He's a batso football. There we go. There's Christie's beautiful red. And Jeff's. These are keepers all day long, but we are just catch and releasing today. Sweet. He's gone. He gone. There we go. Fish on. Oh, oh yeah, that's God. a good one. All right, y'all. First fish of the day, and this feels like a nice one. Very very nice one very nice red all right y'all we are in to a school of these redfish you guys we're just working this oyster flat you guys these redfish are stacked Woo! catch and re release oh i'm on he didn't even know he was hooked no, i didn't even know i was on that's a trout Trout? Looks like it. What? Y'all, yeah. I have not caught a trout in a year. I have been dying to catch a That's trout. A good one too. Is he? Yeah. So sick on the jerk shad. Here, boat clip him really quick. All right, people. It has been a solid year since I've gone after some trout and just caught a nice taco size speckled trout for y'all. Beautiful, right up here in the grass flats. Christy the calls them taco size because they're perfect for fish tacos. That's actually a decent one. If we were in Florida, yeah. That's not too, if we were like South Solid. Florida, that's a decent, that's like 17? Yeah. 18? Not bad. Two. All right, let's get him back in and let him go, let him grow. Oh, 
oh wow holy moly i didn't even i literally cast it out it hit the water didn't even move my rod or nothing just smoked it so sick we are up in um is he on yeah oh my word this is awesome oh oh he's nice I can't believe we're catching releasing these guys today. Oh, he is wildly. Get up, get up on in here. Yeah, you're gonna have to uh, close, like, very, uh... All right, y'all, these flats totally producing for us. Another solid redfish in the boat, you guys. Just hit our two man limit in like five minutes. We're up in them thick. So much activity out here. A lot of bait working and tons of these beautiful redfish. I think I'm filming, I'm not really sure, but uh, just wanna show you guys another solid catch. Staying cool out here with this nice breeze. Oh, whoa, hello. Oh my gosh. <laughs> He's ready to go. See ya. Another solid catch and another solid day on the Dolphin Dancer. Haven't even been out here an hour yet and y'all we are slaying it, so much fun. Woo, got our buddy Brett Coates back there. He's been getting hooked up to a bunch of redfish and uh, live bait, artificials. It's all going down right now. Get on the other side of it. Like upstream, or we can't get any closer than that. Oh my word. <laughs> I got a fish. A red? Oh. Look at that thing. Uh, probably a school of them right here that is crazy i was like trying to work the trolling motor that's actually a nice one it's a very nice one. <laughs> he is he literally ran me all around the boat how big is you that is a nice size redfish Dang, he swallowed it. All right, y'all. We're gonna put this guy on the stringer. This is a, what is it, stinky pants? Is that what it's called? All right, so we relocated to our second spot and y'all, it's definitely producing. There's tons of finger mullet up in here and this little grassy flat, a lot of PVC holes in the ground, which means that there's some nice oyster beds below and Jeff just caught a solid red. There are some really gnarly clouds that are just moving in. It is a summer rain, saw some lightning out behind us. So we're gonna go ahead and get off the water here in a second, but Jeff just wanted no, to show you. Babe, it is pouring down. Show them your We're head. not getting off the water. All right, last cast. Now that looks like a school of drum bags. All right. Oh, that's a nice fish. Hello. Is that a flounder? Yeah, it is. Oh, babe, we have no net. Are you going to help your... Got him! Oh, I hit the freaking trivecta today, baby. All right, people, and just for a good measure, Christy goes and catches herself. Oh yeah, a little grand slam today, guys. Redfish, trout, and now a flounder on a little gulp. It's getting it done, y'all. I won the bet today. Whoever could get the grand slam, the most fish, queen of the ocean, mother ocean, that would be me. And bringing home one redfish for dinner, a little taco fish taco fish taco dinner all right gotta release this guy uh, he's not coming home but nice little catch for y'all to end the day very nice very nice all right all right y'all there it is get the release peace out get the release oh you go awesome dad on the water today seriously was not expecting to hit a grand slam but today it was just so much fun getting out here had a little a uh, few hour sesh for an afternoon bite and definitely uh, was producing for us up on the grass flats and oyster beds. We're definitely holding quite a bit of redfish, quality size. If y'all wanna get a guide in your area and you guys are looking, cannot find one, go over to fishingbooker.com. They've got tons of guides on there, awesome reviews, and you guys can get on any kind of inshore, offshore species. Just hit up fishingbooker.com for your next trip. Time to head on in. Beautiful day out here. Cannot say enough about our backyard fishery right here in Lynn Haven. Beautiful Virginia Beach fishery. Y'all come check us out. That's all we got. Peace out. Deuces.